For as long as I've been bending metal, I've had trouble bending metal. You stick it in the vise, you smack it around with a hammer, and it comes out cockeyed and crooked and just not terribly nice, and you gotta redo it again. So I was struck with the challenge of bending some cardboard. And I thought, instead of just bending cardboard by hand, why not use a brake? And then I thought, oh, I could solve my metal bending problem. So I made a brake. Uh, I just kind of followed some other people's ideas online, uh, combined them to create this. Uh, when I bent the 16th inch aluminum, it bent like it was cardboard or something. And it came out very nice and square, and it had no problem handling this. So why don't I show you how I made this? I cut this in half to make two three-foot sections. The angle iron is also cut in half to make two two-foot sections. I cut a foot off of the flat plate. To center the pivot point on the edge of the angle, we need to recess the hinges. This ends up being pretty tricky because you have to cut a slot in the angle. need to be drilled through the ends of the angle without the hinges attached to it. I made a flat spot for the bit. A recess was cut for the hinges so that they would rest flush with the surface of the wood. A special recess was also cut to accommodate the hinge. The hinges must be very carefully positioned so that it pivots correctly. I glued two pieces of wood together to make it thicker and then secured the hinges back again. I used two clamps to position the angle on the hinges to make sure everything was aligned when I drilled the holes. Once I got it all together, I realized that the pivot point was at the wrong spot relative to the surface of the flat plate. The hinges needed to be flush with the plate, not below it. So, I had to cut everything apart again. I created a recess on the face of the wood to accommodate the heads of the cap screws. And then I flipped the whole board over and screwed everything on again. Now the pivot's perfectly aligned. Holes for the carriage bolts were drilled 
through the hinges and through the block of wood. Some nuts were used to tighten the carriage bolt into the wood. I cut the box tube in half to create the two handles. And that's how I built my homemade bending brake. After I painted it, I was real happy with how it came out. It'll be popping up in a lot more videos as I bend metal, bend cardboard, things like that. Uh, so be sure to subscribe, then you get the updates when these videos come out on your YouTube update channel page thingy. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, pretty much all the social media and especially head over to instructables.com. I have a channel there, so if you really wanna build something like this, go over there, you'll find more detail on my projects, and you can find all those links on my channel page. So I will see you guys next time. We'll be bending some cardboard. That's it.